Hey guys, Nurse Mike here, and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Now, before we get today's lecture started, please remember to access your free quiz and preview our cool nifty new study guides not here on YouTube. Click the link right up here at any time during this video. All right, guys, let's begin. Now, Addison and Cushing is all about the steroids. Typically, when we think of someone on steroids, you think of some big, hairy weightlifter, right? So in the same way, in Addison's, think we have an absence of steroids. We have too little. We need to add some in Addison's. So clients typically present small and skinny and very frail and weak, with a very odd tan. And with Cushing, it's the exact opposite. Big, round, and hairy. So think a big cushion of steroids with Cushing's. Basically, too much cortisol. We can call him Cushy Carl. Kind of like a big, round, hairy airbag. So think Cushing as more cushion for the push-in. Now pump those NCLEX breaks. Guys, the majority of the NCLEX questions come from this section. So we took over 10,000 questions while creating the script. And I can almost guarantee you, this part will be on your exam in the form of a SATA question. So again, Addison's, we have an absence of steroids. We need to add some steroids, guys, so everything will be low. We'll have low blood pressure, which is the most critical. We'll have low weight from that water loss. Keywords here, very skinny and very weak. We'll have low temperature from that cold intolerance. Low hair, known as hair loss or alopecia. Low mood or depression or irritable. Low energy, low sodium, guys, big one here hyponatremia, 135 or less. And this comes with a big salt craving. Also slow or irregular periods or menstrual cycles. Now big ones here, two highs, the two double P's here, pigmentation and potassium. So remember, double P's for the double D's and Addison's. So guys, write this part down. The NCLEX loves this, big keywords. High pigmentation or hyperpigmentation, also called bronze pigmentation and high potassium over 5.0, aka hyperkalemia. And since potassium pumps those muscles, we get muscle spasms and EKG changes. So high potassium is high heart pumps with peak T waves and ST elevations. And thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right, guys, see you next time.